Hello, and welcome to Real Film Talk. My name is Will Bronlick, and this show will cover everything from movies to TV shows and editorials. Today we will talk about the 94th Academy Awards, which took place this past Sunday, and history has been made from the winners to the memoriam to a few other events that transpired. We will take a look into one of the most prestigious award shows to ever exist. We will start off with the award for Best Original Screenplay. Belfast took home the award over Don't Look Up, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, and The Worst Person in the World. Kenneth Branagh wrote the script, and the last film he both wrote and directed was The Magic Flute, which was released all the way back in 2006. For Best Adapted Screenplay, it was Coda that came up victorious over Drive My Car, Dune, The Lost Daughter, and The Power of the Dog. Coda made some more history later on in the show, but we'll get to that later on. For Best Visual Effects, Dune won. One of the people behind the effects for Dune, Paul Lambert, was also known for doing the visual uh, effects for other projects like First Man, and in my opinion, one of the most underrated movies to come out in recent years, Blade Runner 2049. The award for Best Sound, once again, Dune took home the award. One of the people behind the sound, Mac Ruth, also worked on Blade Runner 2049, but also had a hand in The Martian and 13 Hours. Everyone involved with the sound actually helped with Blade Runner 2049, which was coincidentally directed by the same person. Mark Mangini also helped with movies such as The Fifth Element and the critically acclaimed Mad Max Fury Road. The award for Best Live Action Short Film went to The Long Goodbye over Alakachu, Take and Run, The Dress, On My Mind, and Please Hold. For the award for Best Animated Short Film, the winner was The Windshield Wiper over Affairs of the Art, Bestia, Box Ballet, and Robin Robin. In the award for Best Production Design, once again, Toon takes the award. One of the people involved with the production design, Patrice Vermette, was behind other projects directed by Denis Villeneuve, like Arrival, Sicario, and Prisoners. Zu Zazana Sipos was another hand that worked on Blade Runner 2049, as well as Gemini Man. Next up, we have the award for Best Original Song, where No Time to Die, the last time a James Bond film actually won a Best Original Song, were Writings on the Wall from Spectre, and Skyfall from Skyfall. The song was performed by Billie Eilish and uh, Phineas O'Connell. The other nominees were Be Alive from King Richard, Dos Oruguitas from Encanto, Down to Joy from Belfast, and Somehow You Do from Four Good Days. For the award for Best Original Score, Dune won with our music uh, being composed by Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer is a man who needs very little introduction. But for those who may not uh, know, here are a few projects he composed the music for. Gladiator, Inception, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Kung Fu Panda, and a certain movie that came out in the mid-90s called The Lion King. Best Makeup and Hairstyling went to the eyes of Tammy Faye. Other nominees were Coming to America, Cruella, Dune, and The House of Gucci. Two of the people in charge of the makeup and hairstyling for the eyes of Tammy Faye, Linda Dowds and Stephanie Ingram, were involved with X-Men Dark Phoenix and the theatrical IT movies. Justin Raleigh was known for projects like Aquaman, The Conjuring movies, and the hit Netflix series Stranger Things. The award for Best International Feature Film went to Drive My Car, other nominees were Flea, The Hand of God, Lunana, A Yak in the Classroom, and The Worst Person in the World. Best Film Editing went to Dune, being edited by Joe Walker, who also edited Arrival and Sicario. The other nominees included Don't Look Up, King Richard, The Power of the Dog, and Tick Tick Boom. Best Documentary Sorch Subject saw The Queen of Basketball taking home the award, with the other nominees being Audible, Lead Me Home, Three Songs of Ben Azir, and When We Were Bullies. So now before we get into this next category, which is Best Documentary Feature, Let's quickly discuss what happened prior to that. For those that may not know, or for those that do know, Chris Rock was presenting the award. He acknowledged Will and Jada Smith as they were there for Will being nominated for his role in King Richard, which we will get to momentarily. Chris made a bad joke, and there was an altercation. In the end, everything appeared to blow over, and everybody apologized. I won't go too much into it. If you'd like to talk to me more about it, I'd be happy to. Now back to the show. For Best Documentary Feature, the winner was Summer of Soul. For Best Costume Design, the award went to Cruella. The other nominees were Cyrano, Dune, Nightmare Alley, and West Side Story. Jenny Bevine, who did the costumes for Cruella, also did the costumes for The King's Speech and Mad Max Fury Road. The award for Best Cinematography went to June, and their mastermind behind uh, the cinematography, Greg Frazier, also did cinematography for Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Zero Dark Thirty, and Vice. He's also done uh, some work on a few episodes of The Mandalorian. Other nominees included Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of Macbeth, and West Side Story. For Best Animated Feature Film, Encanto won with other nominees being Flea, Luca, The Mitchells vs. the Machines, and Raya the Last Dragon. For Actress in a Supporting Role, 
The award went to Ariana DeBose for her role in West Side Story as Anita. She was also in the ensemble for the smash Broadway hit Hamilton. The award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role went to Troy Kotzer for his role in Coda. The other nominees were Sierra Hines for Belfast, Jesse Plemons for The Power of the Dog, J.K. Simmons for Being the Ricardos, and Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. Kotzer made history by becoming the first ever deaf man to win an acting Oscar. For the award for Best Actress in a Lead Role, the award went to Jessica Chastain for her role in The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Other nominees were Olivia Colman, Penelope Cruz, Nicole Kidman, and Kristen Stewart. The award for lead actor, Best Actor in a Lead Role went to Will Smith for his role in King Richard. The other nominees were Javier Bardem, Benedict Cumberbatch, Andrew Garfield, and Denzel Washington. Another award I want to uh, put out there real quick is Best Director, which ended up being Jane Campion for Power of the Dog. She ended up being the third female director in history to uh, win uh, th that Oscar. And last but not least, the award for Best Picture, it went to Coda. Not only is it historical for having a predominantly deaf cast, but it's also the first time a streaming service has ever won Best Picture. This was an Apple original film. So congratulations to Coda and all of the other winners uh, from uh, this Sunday's uh, show. That's just about does it for this first episode of Real Film Talk. I hope you all enjoyed this first episode. Until next time, this is Will Bronlick, and I will see you at the movies. Save a seat for me. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.